Jules loves football. While the vast majority of men were looking forward to the World Cup, eager to see the football stars display their ball skills, the majority of women were interested in displays of a different nature altogether. Responding to the female perspective, Jules created the Jules Loves Football platform in direct protest to FIFA's obviously man-made ban, which prevented players from removing their shirts during goal celebrations. Such a shame. With a tongue-in-cheek viral film celebrating the male form, a worldwide petition against this silly rule kicked off. The viral starts out as a regular World Cup promo, but quickly transitions into slow-motion shots of players running around as Mother Nature intended, shirtless. The film directed women to the Jules Loves Football platform on Hives and Facebook, where they could sign the petition. Well, well, well. The effect was overwhelming, and in no time, over 86,000 women signed the Shirt Off Now petition, which became a regular item on blogs, popular websites and news reports. What was the secret behind the success of the Jules campaign? Sex? Sure, sex always has and always will sell, but it takes more than a hot body to make a campaign a success. Long before the World Cup started, Jules undertook some very public and entertaining research at the yearly Amsterdam household bureaus. Jules created five super sexy football archetypes and asked women to choose their favourite. Aside from getting to take their pick from these very juicy images, the women were asked to answer a few naughty questions to shed some light on female football fantasies. <laughs> Jules also conducted the survey online via a fruitful collaboration with the lekesterfootballers.hives.nl. The results were seeded online to further promote the insight that women do love football, just not for the same reasons as men. At a later stage, Jules made her fans co-owners of the campaign. Fans could pick their favourite shot and share it with all of their friends. The most popular shots were actually put in the final edit of the film, making the fans even more involved and eager to spread the word about the notorious Shirt Off Now petition. From that moment on, the cheeky film went viral in a massive way, seeded through blogs and social media specifically targeting women. Aside from new media, other platforms, including TV broadcasts, were also incorporated. Two well-known Dutch girls, Tartan and Jennifer, better known as the Brutale Maiden, interviewed players and football officials about the Shirt Off Now petition. Welke FIFA heeft? Dat zo'n shirt die mogen lift, anders krijgen ze geel. Ja. Precies. Zo dacht ik er ook. Ja. They handed the petition to KNVB's Henk Kessler. Kessler swore he would personally deliver the petition to Sepp Blatter, president of FIFA, and the man responsible for ruining football for women everywhere. Dus we laten het hier achter ja, en we goed. vertrouwen u erop dat het goed terecht komt bij de heer Blatter. Ja. ja. Dank u wel. Dank u wel. Ja, ja het is echt, dit is mijn kantoor, dus oh, jullie moeten oh, eruit. Ja. <laughs> Jules Loves Football became a huge success and was hailed as the best World Cup campaign of 2010. Most importantly, Jules made the World Cup, formerly a 100% male event, into an entertaining experience for the ladies. About the ball. Winston Reed.